A frozen tongue may be his claim to fame, but it was his role opposite two comedic titans in the 1981 funny flick, The Toy, that made Hollywood take notice of Scott Schwartz. When I got the toy, I was old enough, so I knew who Richard Pryor was, I knew who Jackie Gleason was. Richard Pryor, I met him, and I said, Mr. Pryor, it's such a pleasure. He goes, wait a minute, stop that right now. Just call me Richard. Rich, dick, call me anything you want, I'll answer to it. Schwartz's performance caught the eye of director Bob Clark, who cast him in A Christmas Story without a formal audition for the unforgettable role of Flick. When I got the role, I thought I was Ralphie. I wasn't told anything. We go up to Toronto for the read-through. He goes, Scott, you're gonna play Flick. And I went, huh? And I'm like, are you sure about this? He's like, oh yeah, just don't even worry about it. It's not the size of the role, but what you make out of it. Being the, 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 the smart aleck, the smart ass, that's I think what Bob wanted for it. Flick's hilariously defiant demeanor was never more evident than in the beloved movie's iconic flagpole scene. And Scott revealed how they made that bit of movie magic and why they had to do it twice. Everybody asked me about the scene on the tongue of the flagpole. There's a real flagpole there. But what they did is they painted and made a fake flag, flagpole. And there's a little hole in it the size of basically your pinky nail with a vacuum cleaner tube, basically a suction. No, I did not really stick my tongue to the pole. They can't do this, child labor laws. Come back, don't leave me, come back. They underdeveloped the film. We have to reshoot the whole thing. So we had to go back out there and shoot the whole thing again. That was the last thing, they ended up being the last scene that I shot. In the years to follow, the child actor landed the lead in Kidco and also ventured into television on the ABC After School special, Summer Switch. Summer Switch, which was uh, another take on Freaky Friday, basically, the father and the son. And Robert Klein plays my dad. He was great. I'm a comedy guy, you know. Uh, so he and I just had a blast. In 87, Schwartz appeared in the first season of the teen drama 21 Jump Street with the then unknown Johnny Depp. All of the Jump Streets were two stories. So my thing was these two kids see a uh, Mac machine being robbed and we set off an alarm and we go take the money. During the week of the nine days of me being there was my 19th birthday. In Canada, you're allowed to drink at 19. They took me out and got me blasted for my birthday. I get up the next morning, Johnny and Peter, who were out with me all night, and I'm like, hey, how you doing? They're like, oh man, we shouldn't have stood out so late. Oh, I said, well, I had fun. Knowing full well the nature of showbiz, Schwartz and his father opened a business in the late 80s, which they still share to this day. So the name of the shop is Baseball Cards and Movie Collectibles. We're in Woodland Hills, California on Ventura Boulevard. I came out to LA in the beginning of 87. My dad came out the end of 87. He bought a baseball card store, basically. It was just cards. A little bit of memorabilia, autograph this and that. I'm here most of the time, four to five days a week. Uh, I do mostly the internet stuff. When he has customers that come in, I help customers. Despite his break from the limelight, Schwartz has many memorable stories to spill in his soon to be released autobiography. It's the ups, the downs, the pitfalls, the great times. Um, it's, there's parts of the book that are emotional. When people finish reading the book, they're gonna go, oh my God. That's the reaction I want.